This is a Xiaomi M365. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. It's got a 250 watt motor, which apparently will kick out around about a kilowatt. I've just done about 10 mile on it and I think I'm one bar down. It's absolutely amazing piece of kit. If I get on it and try not to kill myself. Hang on, cruise control. So now it's in cruise. Although it's not really very easy to steer with one hand. You might call me a kid. You might call me stupid, I don't care. This is probably the best fun I have had in decades. If you hold the throttle steady enough, it goes into cruise mode, cruise control, so it's now set at, what, 10 kilometers an hour? It doesn't do miles an hour for some strange, unknown reason. Oh, it's so nice. I should wear a helmet, can't be arsed. I'm not in any danger, I'm safe as anything. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. The only worrying thing is, on the packaging it says, or on the box, or the advert, or whatever it is, it says that it's for 14 to 50 year olds. I'm out the price range, so I shouldn't be riding it. When you hold the throttle in a certain position for a certain amount of time, about three or four seconds, it goes into cruise mode. <laughs> it's a bit worrying when you're going flat out. <laughs> oh, it's my mobility scooter. I love it, man. It's fantastic. Oh, this is so much fun. When you're going over bumps, it gets a bit jarring, so you have to bend your knees. Um, it's got a back light. When you apply the brake, the light comes on. As you can probably hear, when you keep your legs straight, uh, it doesn't half bloody... Oh, dear. I don't, know if, ooh, I don't know if these tyres are a bit high. Yeah, it makes your eyes wobble a bit. You have to bend your legs when you're going over rough terrain. That's the only downside. I didn't even know this was about a mile away from home. I could be absolutely anywhere, completely lost. Oh yeah, it's got a light. <laughs> of course, I have to have it in sport mode. I can't ride any other way. <laughs> you know, these things are quite expensive. It was a drunken purchase and it cost me 420 quid, but I reckon it's the best drunken purchase I've ever f made. This is the old canal. I didn't even know this existed. I'd honestly got no idea this was even here. So that there is the old canal. That is fascinating. How long has this been like this? That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I just found out that this is the Worley and Essington Branch Canal. Local nature reserve. After carrying this thing up these steps. Fantastic. I didn't even know this was here. 
Didn't even know it existed until now. So you can see the canal, it goes straight the way down there. And this used to be the bridge, another bridge by the looks of it, but obviously it's gone. They've been filled in. It smells a bit around here. Local nature reserves. <laughs> yeah, basically it means it stinks. So I wouldn't have known this place existed if I if I hadn't gone out exploring on this thing. I don't know it was there. A duck. This has been untouched for absolute decades. There's trees actually growing out of the canal. And by the looks of it, there's fish in there as well. Oh, this is so peaceful around here. Nobody anywhere. Absolutely nobody. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have found this. Really wouldn't have found this. Definitely not. And this here, although it's quite eerie. I mean, you could actually walk on that. It's a shame all this is gone. It used to be an active canal. And by the looks of it, it was quite wide as well. It's just occasional bits of water. Just a few feet of st uh, stretches of water. Now, I don't think I want to walk on that or try to, although there are footprints on it. Hey, ain't going on there. Oh, so that place, the other side of the road, must have been a continuation of the canal, but they've filled it in. All the poles that are around there, there's, there's two big poles. I reckon they were actually, they must have been the old canal. Oh, I love exploring like this. Places you didn't even know existed. Not till now. I bet there ain't many people who knew this canal was still here. So this here must have been, this is over the other side of the road. This must have been the uh, part of the canal. I don't know if it was a turning, I don't know what they call it. Somewhere for the boats to turn around, but there's two of these poles. Yeah, there's more evidence of the canal here. If I don't fall off this thing first. And then it goes down here into a massive pool. stickers that are on here um, so as I can stick them straight back on again. <laughs> 